our world there's animals all around And you have questions, can you down? Ranger Ray is here to show By talking to those animal pros With the Critter Calm we see the world A new adventure will unfold You will become an animal champ Here at Ranger Ray's Animal Camp Hello there everyone and welcome back to Ranger Ray's Animal Camp I'm your host, Ranger Ray, and today we're soaring into the amazing world of birds, asking the question, why do birds have beaks? I have no idea, but I say we spent enough time squawking about it, and time to go figure out this answer for ourselves. So, without further ado, let's head to the Crittercom! So, let's go! Well, hey there, Crittercom! Oh, hey there, Ranger Ray. Oh, Crittercom, what's going on? Why are you so sad? Do you ever have days when you just wish you weren't a computer? Uh, no. No, I can honestly say I've never had one of those days. Well, I'm having one of those days today. Oh, I wish I had arms and legs. And I wish I could eat non-computer food. Ooh, like I've always wanted to try pizza! <laughs> well, I don't blame you there. Pizza is delicious. <laughs> Oh? I mean, it's not that great. I just wish I knew why I was made the way that I was. Yeah, that's a hard question, Crittercom. But we're answering a similar question with birds today. We're trying to figure out why birds are the way that they are by asking, why do they have beaks? So maybe if we ask this question, you may learn something along the way too. Mind calling Tom Toucan for us? Well, it's worth a shot. All right, I'm on it. Oh, hello there, Ranger Ray and Crittercom. How's it going? Hey there, Tom. It's great to see you. But we had a question for you. Why do birds have beaks? Oh, that's a great question. Here, let me show you. There are thousands of different types of birds in the world. There's big ones, small ones, some that fly, some that run, some that swim. But there's one thing that we all have in common, and that's our beaks. Every bird in the world has a beak, and they're all different shapes, sizes, and colors. Our beaks are incredible tools that serve all kinds of purposes. They're like a Swiss Army knife for us birds. They help us do everything. Wow, they sound very important. Can you give us some examples of how birds use their beaks? Of course! Our beaks are designed for all sorts of different tasks. Every bird beak has adapted to fit every bird's lifestyle. For instance, my toucan beak is great for reaching fruits high up in the trees. It's long and slender, perfect for grabbing and peeling. A built-in fruit picker. Ooh, impressive. What about other birds, Tom? Well, you've got birds like eagles and hawks that have hooked beaks. These are perfect for tearing into meat and fish while hummingbirds have long, slender beaks to help them reach into flowers for nectar. Finches and other small birds have the perfect beaks for breaking and eating small seeds, and woodpeckers have strong, hammer-like beaks for drilling into trees to find insects. So beaks are like specialized tools for different jobs. Exactly, Crittercom. Do you guys use your beaks for other things than just eating? Absolutely, Ranger A. Beaks are also used for cleaning our feathers, building nests, and even defending territories. They're amazing tools that help us birds navigate the world. Oh, this has been amazing. Thank you so much, Tom, for all your help. No worries, Ranger A. Well, I'll see you guys later. So every bird has a specialized beak to help them get the exact food they need. And it also helps them to build their nests and to help them stay clean. That's all great, Ranger Ray, but I still don't know how this helps my problem. Well, just like every beak is different and serves a different purpose, the same thing goes with all of us, including you. Really? Well, of course, Crittercom. I can't call animals from around the world without you. And you have this amazing animal database in you to help us solve so many questions. And you couldn't do all that unless you were built just the way you are. Wow. I never thought about it that way before. Huh. I guess you're right, Ranger Ray. Thank you. You're welcome, Crittercom. And thank you guys so much for joining us on this adventure. Remember, stay wonderful and wild, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Ta-ta!